What's up everybody? Couldn't be more excited about today's video. It's another workout day. It's another protein review day. And today, not only do I have another Rise flavor, which I've really liked in the past, this one's just a classic original one. I had a recommendation for this one. This is Jet Puffed Marshmallow Flavor. Points for originality. I'm not a huge marshmallow fan, but on the other hand, everybody loves marshmallows. They're delicious. So I'm excited about the flavor. I hope it doesn't disappoint. We're going to check this out, tell you how it tastes. So new package, haven't opened this yet. Let's get into it here. See what, uh, see what we can find. Hold a, oh no. Have to have a display of strength, get the package open again. All right. Well, difficulty to open. It's gonna take some points away, but we got her open in the end. Okay, smells pretty good. Smells sweet, which is right up my alley. However, I can't find the scooper. It's elusive. Must be way at the bottom. All right, we're digging in. Here it goes. Yeah, it's way <laughs> it's at the bottom. Way at the bottom. Okay. All right, I found the scooper. Okay. All right, Rise Jet Puff Loaded Protein. We're going to give you a try. 300 milliliters, approximately 10 ounces of water as normal. So let's get some water in the cup. Hundred, right about there, beautiful. And then, let's get a scoop of our Jet Puffed Protein. So this, uh, the macros are pretty good on this stuff. It's only 130 calories, which is a little bit high for protein, but it's kind of in my range of acceptable. Uh, 25 grams of protein, which is good. Three grams of carbs, of which one gram is sugars, and two and a half grams of fat so it's kind of an average run-of-the-mill macros on this stuff all right one scoop in gonna give it a quick shake see how it mixes don't want to overshake it let the protein do the talking okay look at that I didn't spill a drop okay we got some bubbles Got a little bit of floaties. Don't look too bad on the solubility. Looks like it is all pretty well. I'll fix my camera here again. Uh oh. I picked it up and now it doesn't want to sit straight. I, there we go. Okay. Kind of straight. Okay. So, solubility. I see some floaties, but I didn't shake it all that long. But that's what I normally do. So, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10 on solubility I see some I see some floaties hopefully it tastes a little better than it performed in that dissolving department all right lid on straight splash myself in the face here we go okay 10 out of 10 for sweetness, super sweet protein, which I like. I have to say I'm a sucker for a sweet protein. Sucralose and asulfame potassium. I think somebody commented that that stuff's bad for you, but I'll have to do some research. I'm not going to speak to that. I'm only going to talk about flavor. This stuff could be really good for you. It could kill you. I don't know for sure. All I know is how it tastes. And to me... This stuff tastes super sweet, uh, and the flavor is good. I, I don't get a lot of protein taste, if any. Let me just try it once again. What I'm trying to find in here is a marshmallow flavor. I think I have it. I guess marshmallows are kind of subtle in flavor. I think a marshmallow is more a texture than a flavor, is my hypothesis right now, because you eat it and it just kind of tastes like sugar. I don't know that there's an overwhelming flavor, but maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I get the idea though. So they hit it pretty good and I'm actually a fan. Super sweet protein, no protein flavor. 
I will say, if you want something sweet and sweet to be your overwhelming flavor, this one's a good protein for you. Overall, I quite like it. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 for flavor because it hit the sweetness note for me. I just don't fully understand what a marshmallow tastes like. Maybe that's me. Maybe it's the protein. But good job, Rise. Uh, that's it for today. I will catch you next time.